Sixth graders, lesson 8.5 is the last lesson in this chapter. And we're going to be learning how to use graphs to um, figure out information, okay, and identify details about the graphs. Why did they make the graph? What is the graph trying to tell us? And things like that. So, when you are doing this, the first thing that you should do is figure out what the graph is about. By looking at the title, by looking at the labels on the sides, you can figure out what information is trying to be communicated to you, okay? For example, in number one of your assignment, what's the title of the graph, Ariana? Um, reaction. reaction times. Well, what is reaction times? What is that? What is this graph about? Bryce? What? What is this graph about then? Page 239. Max, uh, before you take another bite. What is this graph about? Um, how long it takes for like seven people to react. Yeah, very good. The length of time it takes for seven different people to react to something, okay? Now they give us a little more details in the in the question. This has to do with video game what? Reaction. Yeah, video game reaction time based on their experience. Right, years of experience. Years of experience, okay? And then it uses a bar graph to compare the people in years of experience. I would be in the first category, like zero to four years of experience, okay? And then some of you would probably be in the six or seven year experience category, right? Now, what does the graph show? We said that this was a bar graph. Why? What is this graph trying to show based on the fact that they chose to use bar graphs. Yep, and what are bar graphs good for? Good. Good for comparing a number of different things, right? And so that's why you want to look at the type of graph. Okay? You know that you're supposed to look at this graph and compare all of the different subjects. Okay? Then, analyze the data. Now, you may have to analyze it based on the central tendency, the mean, the median, the mode, the range. Those are all central or finding the middle of the data. All right? But sometimes you're just looking for how does, how does one compare to the rest? In this case, it says, look at the data in the table and the graph. <coughs> what conclusion can you draw? about the reaction times of the students. What conclusions can you draw based on the bars, Tyler? Um, the yeah, what happens to the reaction time? Um, All right, you're next. What happens to the reaction time? What is it? Well, look at the bars. Do they get bigger or smaller? No, as we're reading the graph. Yeah, you should always read a graph going from which direction? Left to right. So what is the first one? 3.2, and those have how many years of experience? Right? Zero years of experience, so less than a year of experience, right? The reaction time is what, Daria? We, we put it already in the seventh grade room. 3.2, 3.2 what? 
Yeah, 3.2, what does that 3.2 mean? Seconds. Seconds, good. So we have to use the labels. <clears throat> now, what is the trend? How would you describe the trend, Lindsay? Number one. Starting with the first bar, what is the trend? The what? No, the trend. What happens as the as they gain more experience? It goes what? It goes lower, right? The reaction time goes lower, it goes down. Until what happens, Nate? Until what? Until a year what? Yeah, until year. <coughs> Where does when does it kind of level off? <coughs> Look at the graph. Well, the bars go down. They get lower until from D to yeah. And is there much difference then? Do they keep going lower? No. So what is happens at D? Yeah. At how many years? Six. At six years of experience. And at seven years of experience. And at eight years of experience, they're all kind of the same, right? So what is the trend now? Describe the entire trend. Put it all together. Roy. The trend? Yeah. Um, the reaction time does what? It gets smaller. Up until... E. Yeah, what happens at how... It goes up. How many years is that? Um, that's of experience? Four. Uh, oh, six. At about six years of experience. Okay, and then from six years of experience to about eight years of experience, is there much change? Um, no. No, yeah. it actually just varies up and down, right? So the reaction time decreases pr um, pretty consistently from zero to five years of experience, and then over five years of experience, it doesn't change a whole lot. Okay? Yes? Any questions on that? All right, so that'll help you with number one, right? Um, number two has another question about that. Let's do number three. Read that one, Brett. Oh, uh, no, let's have Cole read it. Peter predicted that as the day gets later, people's reactions time increase. So he tested his classmates' reaction times throughout the day. Look at the data in the graph at their end. Was Peter's prediction accurate? What conclusions can you draw about the reaction times at different times of day? Right, so what type of graph is this now? Oh, Jeremiah. This is a line graph. And what do line graphs tend to show? How things change over, over time, right. And how does this change over time, Daria? But, but over what course of time? Time of day, yeah. Now, so now we're talking about the time of day. And early in the morning, how is the reaction time early in the morning, Liz? Kind of high, right, yeah. Yep, your brain and your muscles are not quite firing at peak performance, are they? And then as it goes throughout the morning, when is the best reaction times? When are the best reaction times? Abby? Four a.m. 
look at the line graph. What are the lowest reaction times? I doubt 4 a.m. is on there. I don't think they tested it. 7 p.m. has the lowest reaction times. What about 10 a.m.? Yes, yeah, the same at both 10 a.m. and at 7 p.m. So what can you say about the performance time from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m.? Max, what conclusion can you draw? Yeah, those give you the best reaction times. Your brain is the most awake, maybe. All right. Uh, early in the morning, it's not quite as good. And what happens after 7 p.m., Jen? It starts to go higher. Yep. Why, Ariana? You're getting tired, right? Yep. Your the brain is slowing down. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is use this um, answer one through three. So write down the answers we talked about, and then finish four, five, and six on your own based on the other graph. What teams do online? Whether playing games, getting news, buying items, reading information, or um, reading about movies, TV, music groups, and things like that. Okay, and then look at the double bar graph. And then your other assignment is the chapter review, page 243. Do one through ten on page 243, okay? So one through six, and then one through 10.